Welcome back to Fast Gadget. So, if you watched my previous video, you know that I paid a visit to Best Buy and I picked up a Yoga 920, which we're going to talk about today. So, the unit is a Lenovo Intel i7 8550U model. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD. It has a 13.9 inch display with 4K, a four cell battery, and comes with Windows 10 Home. If you're looking for this model at Best Buy, it is the 80Y7 0010US. So this particular model is the, uh, I believe they call it the Platinum Edition. So right next to it is my yoga 910 so we'll do a comparison between the 910 and the 920 to look at the color and of course i'll be doing some benchmarking as well just to get an idea of how good it performs all right we're going to cut the plastic we hope of course i don't have an official knife so I gotta find a nice sharp key here. There we go. So the box top has kind of a matte cloth-like feel. It's actually pretty nice. Let's see if we've got any stickers on the outside. It doesn't look like it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull the box top off. So far the box is very similar to the Yoga 910 box, except the Yoga 910 box was white. So as you pull down on these flaps, the computer actually rises up out of the box. So for right this second, I'm going to set the computer aside. And inside we have another flap. And we have a box here which looks like it contains the power supply and there's actually some paperwork in here as well so we have some lenovo support information a very basic active pen 2 documentation on how to replace the battery and a warranty statement so no actual manual here now I'm not really all that interested in the active pen I may end up selling it um, it's not something I'm probably going to find very useful for myself. So there's the power supply. At least I believe this comes with the active pen. And again, if it doesn't, I, it doesn't matter to me, but I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, in the case is the second box, which shows the external plug unit. and the active pen so we have the power cord itself and then i can pull this entire box assembly out and inside here is a usb clip that you can use to clip into your one and only usb type a port and a sticker I guess this was supposed to be in there 
a few batteries here. Now this is interesting. This actually takes a quadruple A battery for the pen itself, and then it has two small watch style batteries that are used for the Bluetooth if you want to connect it via Bluetooth. So I've honestly, I, I suppose you could order the quadruple A battery off the internet. I've never seen it in the store, but I'm sure you could get it at a batteries plus store or something like that. So we're going to take the pen out. Although, as I say, so there's the pen itself. It pulls right out. It's actually very light without the batteries in it. So it's metal. I did try the pen in the Best Buy store and um, the tip was, I don't know if it was worn down or what it was, but the tip wasn't that easy to uh, trace across the screen with it wanted to grab the screen. So I'm going to put the pen back because I, I don't want to mess with it at, right at the moment. We'll look more at the computer this time and then I'll probably do a separate video on the pen. All right. We're going to go ahead and pull the Yoga 920 out. It has the typical brushed aluminum, beautiful surface, very similar to the Yoga 910. The watch band hinge on the back. On the bottom, it has a window sticker, four pads, and the stereo speakers here, which are down facing. That's really one of the criticisms I do have of this particular computer. Um, I have not seen a laptop PC that has better speakers than even the most basic MacBook. Um, my MacBook 2015 has really, really nice speakers. I'm really impressed with it. And the sound is incredible. I really like the sound on the MacBook 2015. It beats any laptop I've ever heard. All right, so we're going to lift the lid. Now, I've heard this is a one finger lift. We shall see. Uh, not quite. Once again, nobody seems to be able to beat MacBook on that. Now, right away, I'm going to turn the brightness down on my laptop here on the Yoga 910. If you look at these two units, you can see that this one is definitely a silver color. This one honestly looks almost identical not quite but almost identical to the uh, space gray that you can get on a macbook i find that very interesting now we'll take a look at the ports so we've got two usb-c ports on the side here and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack has the watch band hinge on the other side we have a usb a type port and the power button and a microphone the power cord on this unit is nice and long i would say you're getting at least six feet so you have the thinner cord and then you've got what looks like maybe a one and a half to two feet maybe three feet cord of the thicker cord just like you do with the yoga 910. so you can see the two units are very similar but this unit definitely looks just a little bit different. You can see more of the watchman hinge here where you see less of it here. Uh, it looks like maybe they built up the aluminum just a few millimeters here on the top. So let's go ahead and power it up. Okay, keyboard light just came on. Typical Lenovo startup screen that we see all the time. So just like the 910. I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there. And... So just like the 910, we have a two-step brightness. We have off for the keyboard, low, and then high. You may not be able to see it that well, 
uh, because I do have some fairly bright studio lights going here. So the first thing that happened when it came up is Cortana started talking and wanted to help me set up the computer. US keyboard is correct. I'm going to skip. Don't need another layout. Now the EULA here looks like it is for Microsoft. It was updated December of 2016. And then we have a EULA here for Lenovo. And specifically, it looks like it's for the software. So it's a privacy statement for the software and a Lenovo limited warranty. Wants to connect me to a network. I think I'm going to skip this for now because I have to also uh, give it a password. I'm going to skip the fingerprint sensor. I usually don't use those, to be honest. And... No, I do not want Cortana as my personal assistant. And I'm going to turn off location for right now. Diagnostics, relevant ads, speech recognition, tailored experiences with diagnostic data. And it's funny, I have to accept. I'm accepting something. Let's see if I can click next on this because I don't really want to currently anyway add it to Lenovo. Yes, I can. First thing I'm going to do is uninstall McAfee once I get into the system itself. And here's Cortana still talking to me even though uh, I don't want Cortana to be used at all. All right, so it's actually setting up a basic account for me. So looking at these two systems, um, you know, I personally like the silver better than the uh, what they're calling, I believe, platinum. But in reality, they might as well just call it space gray, which I find humorous. But um, it's beautiful looking. They've definitely shortened the hinge here. You can see that this one just has more showing. Um, it looks like the hinge over here is just slightly longer, but they're basically identical systems, although the sides do look slightly different. So they're, they're a little bit different. Now this model comes in the platinum and then I believe there is another model called bronze, I believe. So there's a couple different models. So here's the basic wallpaper that comes with the unit. Now, from this point on, what I'm basically going to do is set up Wi-Fi. I'm going to uh, shrink the partition here and begin to prepare this unit to be set up with Fedora 27. Of course, I'm going to get rid of McAfee as well. <laughs> uh, there's just, you know, so much software on here. I usually uninstall right away. I'm sure many of you do a clean install of Windows 10. And I usually do that at some point if the system's just too burdened with uh, Lenovo bloatware. All right, Gadget Here's we're off to the races. On the left is the Yoga 920. On the right is the Yoga 910. They're both underway rendering the same video with the exact same files. Everything's identical. And the Yoga 920 is reporting that it'll be done rendering this video in 28 minutes. Now, I could go much faster at the risk of having a larger file, so the settings that I have used takes a little bit longer to render, but the file size, uh, for example, for a 15 minute file is the difference between two to three gigabytes or 600 megabytes, and looks just about the same. And over here on the Yoga 910, we are seeing 37 minutes, 12 seconds remaining. So this particular unit here is using its two cores and the 920 is using its four cores. I am using a stopwatch, but Caden Live does tell you what the final render time is. So we'll come back and see what it is as soon as it gets done.
All right, update time on the render process with the videos between the Lenovo Yoga 920 and 910. The 920 has finished at 36 minutes, 23 seconds. And the Yoga 910 is still rendering with 27 minutes remaining. So it's a little bit over halfway and still chugging away so i'm actually really impressed i'm stunned at the render time on this four core system on the yoga 920 so far so good when the yoga 910 wraps it up we'll come back the yoga 910 finally finished one hour nine minutes two seconds over twice as fast. I love it. I am so happy. Well, not quite twice as fast, actually. Same exact settings. So, really quickly here, I'll just show you my render settings. So, we're using MP4, quality of the video 20, audio 160, encoding speed, medium uh, four threads and over here on the 4k exact same settings quality 20 audio 160 coder speed medium threads 4 video quality 20 audio 160 and rendered the full project and processing and architecture made that much of a difference absolutely amazing I'm very very happy all right folks that's it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video very short but to the point the yoga 920 wants the yoga 910 as far as performance when processing video when rendering video thanks for watching see you next time on fast gadgets this video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets.